Tana Mongo is clapping back at David Dobrik's ex-employee who's claiming that she got traumatized by hanging out with David. Nice, Tana. Nice. You got traumatized because how many views he fucking got you, right? <laughs> okay, but dude, Tana was huge regardless, like, right? Dude, no, she, she yes, was huge for the fucking N-word before David scooped her ass <laughs> no. off. Oh, true. That's, that's what she was known for. She was huge for. Well, who wa walked up to her? Uh, oh, it was Idubs. Idubs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. That oh, funny. that guy she described was Idubs? Yeah, that's who she was. That walked up to her and said, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was Idubs? Oh, that's good. You can say it. Like, what? Okay, no, I don't want to say it. <laughs> like, what? Mm. That fucking Juice World. <laughs> what? That's what? fucking Juice World said that. Oh, okay. Wait, Juice World heavily uses the N word? Juice World, like, low key uses the hard R quite a bit. <laughs> okay, okay, I get what you mean. All right, so, uh, yeah, and obviously you are, what, is it uh, Black Jason Nash or Irish, like, with the hat on? What are you? I'm uh, society-appropriated Jason Nash. Okay, I get what you mean. A more, like, sensitive, culturally yes. sensitive. Wait, but, like, dude, as the Black Jason Nash, like, would you have hung out with Hannah Mongu, like, if you no, knew no. her past? If she was in the vlog that day, I'm fucking out of it. Yeah, you're, you're out I'm, of that, I'm right? just fucking spamming BLM in the, in the fucking <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. All right, all right, let's get, let's get into this story. It is pretty insane. Uh, we have a lot of evidence for this. This is the ex-assistant that we're talking about before. Her name is Cassandra Ramos. She used to work for David Dobrik as a PR person. Uh, then now she's just, like, doing Q&As on Instagram stories, and people Good are just, job, like, man. Public relations, you I know now she's kind of fucked it up, but Jesus. people are asking her questions about the vlog squad and she's being really honest. The first one that was out was uh, someone asked her, Is Tana nice in real life? She replied, I was uh, with the group every day for the long time, and that girl never said even hi to me. Believable, jeez, yeah. So she's claiming that Tana was super mean to her and never really said hi, but they would always run into each other, I mean, right? I can see that. I mean, she yeah. was really nice like the first time we met her, but after that, now she doesn't, right? When we met Tana Manga, it was just like, uh, she was nice like the first time, and then every time we see her, she just like kind of like puts her head down, dude. She just she like. Like, completely ignored me. Like, mm -hmm. I tried saying hi and she goes, hey, like, no, yeah. they pushed me away. Yeah, exactly. Dude, I was just trying to, like, you know, bang, but, like, she was not down yeah, for it. What's the only thing? Alright, so this story continues on and now she involves and brings in you two, what? Trisha and Jason. Oh, okay. So, what basically goes down is someone then asks, What do you mean Tana's in therapy for Jason's threesome? Could you elaborate a little? She uh, attached an article saying Tana Mongo says she's in therapy after David Dobrik encouraged her to have group sex at 19. Oh, Jesus. What? You guys remember that story, right? So, no, no, David no. asked, Asking Tana to have a three-way with Jason and Trisha, Trisha gets really uncomfortable <laughs> by it. I'll show you guys the footage real quick to refresh your memory. This was a huge controversy a couple months ago. If you can get Tana to have a three-way with me and Trisha, I'll fucking buy you a Ferrari. I'll do anything. I'll be your slave for a year. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. <laughs> 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 so down bad. You can see like the desperation he's in his eyes. Really serious. Like he literally put the camera on him as he's saying this shit. I know. He actually wants it, right? Yeah. Well, how old is he in this? He's like four, he's forty. He's forty. And Tana was nineteen. She was hey, nineteen. Hey, 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 Wait, hey. So that's what I'm saying. He's like, please give me that young fucking pussy, hey. please. Yeah. While he's dating Trisha Paytas, bro. Which is kind of fucked. Bro. Yeah. All right. Let's get this going. You're for a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Actually, you can make that happen. You can't run to Trisha with this piece of video and be like, Jason said, Jason said. Damn it. <laughs> Trisha, can you help me with my video? You would do anything for me? I'd do anything for you. Can you and Jason have a threesome with Tana? He's like laughing, but he's like, fuck, please, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But dude, she looks so uncomfortable in the back, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I think she's in Australia. Bro, I'm literally wearing the same thing she's wearing. This is fucking sick. <laughs> it is, dude. You are pulling off the, the, the Trisha Paytas. Yeah. But yeah, so the big controversy is after they broke up, her biggest pain point was that David tried to make this happen. And she was telling him, like, this is super uncomfortable. Don't yeah. actually have it happen. And then this is actually what happened when, like, Jason and Tana were actually filming together, right? So this is what kind of what went down here. How do you feel about Jason wanting to have a threesome with you? <laughs> but why me, Jason? You, you could have been better. Because he likes broken you girls <laughs> <laughs> is that true or true yes yeah, no. okay <laughs> these two just recently went on a date they were in a dressing room i don't know why they were in a dressing room together but jason was getting changed and jason thought that there was a spark in the air why would she come in the dressing room with it me it was a big dressing room we were doing tana it. why would you come in to the dressing room house. and then this is the best part jason leans in for a kiss <laughs> You're not giving all the information. Oh yeah, you're right. Your this is this is not a good look for me. Yeah, right. This <laughs> is <laughs> you're fucking down bad, right now, dude. Dude, while he's dating Trisha Paytas, they're filming a date video, and then he tries to make a move on Tana in a dressing room, and then she denies him. Right? I feel like Jason was low key creepy. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Like, there's no way. He, yeah, <laughs> he's the oldest motherfucker in the <laughs> yeah, group. And he started kissing like, like what? Yeah, he's 40 years old trying to kiss a 19 year old, and then this is where it goes off the rails. This is what the uh, ex employee was talking about. This is what Trisha's response was. Because even though Jason's creepy and disgusting david's on a whole other level of being an actual horrible person if you watch david's vloggers 
this like joke that he knows I don't like so he pushes it he pushes it because he knows it gets like a reaction from me and it's like even that night when he like a couple vlogs ago he's like he didn't have a, a a bit a big bit for his vlog and so we go over there and he's like how how bad do you want to help me and then I got pissed at him I got pissed at him that night and I said you know not everything is for your freaking vlog no it's just a vlog um just a thing four minutes and 20 seconds just caused these people so much heartache <laughs> yeah, yeah that yeah. shit crazy ripped apart friendships destroyed money deals all that stuff this man has the shortest vlogs in all of YouTube <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just fucking kills people and so I got really really pissed and um they still invited Tana over anyways. Which then they invited her over anyways and I was asleep. But I could kind of hear and her just being like, no, that's like gross. Like no offense, but that's gross or whatever. And it's gross. Jason's 45. I'm 30. It's gross. It's gross. There was a vlog. Wait, he's 45? Yeah, okay, I was this wrong. Time? Yeah, he was 45, not 40. He's bro. I was actually 43. <laughs> is that is that your response? That's the only thing you have to say about that? I was 40. Dude, she's 19. It's not like she's fucking 17. Yeah. Dude, 19 versus 17, dude. It was like, for the bit. For the bit. For the bit. I was trying to get my dick wet for the bit. I spoke to you about this on the phone if you were okay with this bit, and you said yes. I said, no, look at me right there. I'm crying my fucking eyes out. All right, but you see like where this got really uncomfortable, right? And that was the big issue. And then what basically happened was the, uh, the assistant was saying, okay, well, look, that's why she had to go to therapy. That was a big controversy there. But then somebody says, David and Tana, question mark. And she says, don't you find it funny that Tana apparently is in therapy for Jason's threesome, but then she lived in David's house. I'm confused because Tana now has purchased David's old house. I mean, it is kind of fucked. The joke is kind of fucked, especially when you're that young and then you have like these old people trying to like fucking like push you to do something you don't really want to do. It's kind of Kind of weird. Right, but she's painting it as in like tr like Tana was scarred by this. That she this is something that she was really struggling I mean, with. If a forty five year old tried to get on me when I was nineteen, I'd probably be scarred a little bit. Like, come on. Yeah, that would be what, like a forty five year old woman. Like, yeah, yeah but, exactly. I'm nineteen, and a forty five year old woman is trying to fuck me for a bit. Like, it's kind of fucking weird. No? <laughs> yeah, it is. I guess it's a little weird. Yeah. yeah. First of all. Let's let's talk about this, right? Okay. Okay. Well, what's your but thoughts? I am the Jason Nash. Okay. <laughs> My you, question would, would, is: Would you want to get David for is one dude? If multiple people have a problem with this, why wasn't this brought up? In, because David was getting like ten million fucking views. It don't views matter. It's video. one person. It doesn't fucking it's matter. It's one. They were all making. Person. They are all making if money. This was so traumatizing. Bro, bro. Why, like, like? Okay, if I don't want something put in the vlog, I'll say I don't want to put in the vlog. It's not, not that it's traumatizing to me. I just don't want to put in the vlog. But if something is so traumatizing and multiple people have a problem, like, why wasn't there a fucking... Because they were making so much money together that they were like, then all right, fuck is, it. Then this is all just fucking a facade and just a big exactly. pile of shit. <laughs> yeah, clearly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that, that's kind of Cassandra's point is that this was all bullshit and yeah. like all the relationships you see are fake. Like mm -hmm. the next question was, someone says like, does Tana actually like David? And she goes, it's just clickbait. Like yeah, he, exactly. she just they, used they it for clickbait. They all came together to make fucking like money and then now they actually hate each other because they realize they're not actually good people. And they all actually like were just hurting each other the entire time, exactly. right? Yeah. All right. So what Tana's response was to all these stories was that someone tweeted her at Tana Mongu, get her ass, Tana, use all the screenshots from the story. And Tana responded saying, I've never met her once and this is all cap. Well, dude, there's no way that's cap it's because dude, the cap. assistant was in the house the entire yeah, time. Yeah, she yeah. sees Tana. Tana is definitely capping a little bit right here. I, dude, these all these people are pieces of shit. They all just lie. All like, these people the are story. pieces no of really shit. No one like the actual story, so it's kind of fucked. Yeah. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we're dropping a new vlog. We did the Squid Games that comes out today. Oh, God, it's fucking lit! It is lit! Woo! It's fucking oh, hype. It's our go, favorite vlog for sure. So your go favorite check character it out. definitely died early, but today. Yeah. Today. Go, go check it out. It'll be linked down below. Peace. Peace. Woo!